Hello everybody and welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out the 5PD Police Radio um, download add-on from the GTA Police Mods website. If you would like to download this yourself, the link will be in the top of the description. Feel free to ask the author if you have any problems and let's get straight into it. Alright, so first I wanted to mention just please be aware I am exhausted today so if I make any speech mistakes or anything, please I do apologize for that. This is my last video recording of the day and I am super tired so let's just get straight into it. So in order to download this, all you have to do is press to download this file, agree to the license, make sure you read this, and press agree, and it will go ahead and download a .zip file. You can open this with any of your um, type of zip openers, WinZip, WinRAR, 7-zip, whatever you use, you'll go ahead and open this. Pretty much one thing I wanted to go over real quick on the controls of this is F1 opens the menu, enter selects the option, left arrow, right arrow navigates the menus, backspace and escape closes the menu. A bunch of stuff that are coming are client-side configuration, animation, speech recognition, and like uh, calling tow trucks, prisoner transport, code 4, code 99 option, setting duty status, that's all coming soon, but there are API limitations. So there's a bunch of stuff coming soon. Um, there's sound effects, there's all this cool stuff. So there's pet and vehicle check options. So this is kind of following the police radio from LSPDFR, but inside of 5PD. It's still getting there, but all of that stuff. They have a nice, um... Uh, credits and Arthur terms of use and stuff so make sure to read over this if you haven't already So once you have this file all we're gonna do to reinstall it is I'm gonna assume you already have your 5pd server set up and installed If you do not please make sure you go and watch our how to set up your 5pd and 5m server make sure you have all this set up already and um Let's go ahead and get started. So in order to install it, you can go into the resources folder. And once you're inside of here, you can see there's two files. There's a readme file, there's a 5pd.net.dll, and there's a police radio. You're going to drag the 5pd underscore police radio into your resources folder. Make sure you just re rename it and just copy the name. You don't, don't change the name, just copy the name. Go into your server.cfg file, edit it with notepad++, and just add insure or start depending on what you use your uh the name of it so this in terms of this is 5pd underscore police radio and then all you have to do is go back to your resources folder the 5pd folder this time plugins folder you can see in our last video we installed world events but this time we're just going to drag in the 5pd events manager into this folder and you can see we have dragged it in that's all you have to do to install it's that simple all right, so once you have just dragged this in, you are ready to start your 5M server, and you can just launch it by clicking your starter.bat or start.bat file, whatever you set up when you set up your 5PD server, or if you're using a host, you just double click your start button. I'm gonna go ahead and start 5M so we can go ahead and join and make sure everything has worked successfully. Um, you can see that once it loads up, you'll see it is green. As long as 5PD turns green, um, it has loaded successfully, and we're going to see that just in a moment. Um, there we go. So loaded charges, loaded connected into databases. We are ready to hop in the server and check it out. So I'm going to go ahead and open 5PD here, or open 5M, and then connect to my 5PD server. I'll be right back once we get in game. All right, so I have gone ahead and hopped in here, and I've gone on duty, as you see in the F11 menu. To open up the menu, by default, it is F1. I do recommend changing this inside of the file. It explains how you can get the type of ID for it on the page, so you can read the readme to figure out how to do that. But if you press F1, you can see it has opened that up. And left and right changes the, um, what do you call it, the... Things so you got check vehicle, check ped, animal control, coroner, fire department, air ambulance. So if I go ahead and click that and press enter, you can see air ambulance called. And you can see there will be an air ambulance coming. And if you open up your map, you can see air ambulance is somewhere around here. I saw him on the map a second ago. There he is. So you can see he's coming from uh, over by the hospital and will come over to my location and just come and support me. So you can use that at any time you want, just as like a police radio, which is pretty cool. Great job by the author and everybody else who put time and effort into this resource. It's gonna be great, makes it more realistic. I can't wait to see what comes inside of this resource in the future. Obviously, if you have any issues, you can go ahead and ask the author about it on the forums page or contact them on Discord or wherever they get support from. You can also put minor questions down in the comments below but the best place to get support is the forums considering it is the place where everybody is normally so i hear the helicopter i'm just waiting to see it um should be coming over pretty soon there it is there's the air ambulance so you can see it has arrived on scene uh just minorly scraping the wall but other than that it has arrived. Thank you to everybody who suggested I go over a tutorial on just how to drag and drop and install this one. Um, and if you have any problems with it, please let us know or the author know or whoever you want to ask. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and more 5PD videos coming very soon. See you.